All right, now before I start the video, I want to get this out of the way. This isn't going to be one of those videos where I tell you to go to some place in the map, and then, you know, I tell you to jump off this ledge, and then you get like 400,000 runes. No, all right? Everyone knows those videos are clickbait. They're fake. You know, it might have worked back in February when the game first came out, but, you know, the devs aren't idiots, so they obviously patched it. Today, I will tell you real ways you can actually farm for runes, all right? And I'll go from least effective to, well, the most effective ways you can do this. Let's get into it. Now, the least effective way to get ruins in Elden Ring, at least in my opinion, would be to go to an area with a lot of enemies, just kill them all, and then go back to the Sight of Grace so you can grind them again. Now, this, by all means, works, but it'll take you forever to actually gain a good amount of runes and there's a chance that you might die like two times in a row then you have to restart the whole thing over again it's just that it's not bad it's just that there's so many better ways that you can grind for runes that take less time and aren't as tedious or as boring so that's why this one's in last place now this next method isn't really a method it's something that we're going to end up doing but, you know, I'm still going to add it on this video because you can't actually get a lot of runes from doing this if you find the right boss. And this method is simply just going around your world and fighting bosses. Now, this is a Dark Souls game, so obviously you're going to end up fighting a boss one way or another. But the reason why I don't really recommend this method is because only the endgame bosses will actually give you enough runes to level up if you're at endgame. And those bosses, well, they're endgame, so they're obviously fairly difficult. And if you're at early to mid game and you do this method, chances are a lot of the bosses are going to be difficult just simply because you're not strong enough to actually fight them. And you know, it's a Dark Souls game, so most bosses are difficult and some of them won't give you a lot of ruins and then you'll just do it all for nothing. And then it's just not worth it in my opinion. Now, of course, you want to fight the bosses because you want to get the full game experience, but I don't recommend this being your main source of getting ruins. All right, now this one might be the best one, but it's only good if you're in early to mid game. If you're at end game, the chances are the strategy won't really work for you. So what you're going to want to do is that first you're going to want to go to the third church of Markra, and then you're just going to want to follow the path in the video till you get to a certain set of grace. And once you get here, you're going to want to be careful if you're doing this at night because there is going to be a Knight's Calvary on this bridge and it is fairly difficult. So if you don't want to deal with that, just make sure it's daytime before you do this. So once you get here, you're definitely going to want to make sure you get this Sight of Grace. That is probably the most important step. And also it's a Sight of Grace, you know, like why wouldn't you want to get it? But, you know, once you get here, you're going to see that there's this hill going down. Make sure you go down this hill and there is going to be a boulder that will spawn and it can one hit you if you're not careful but don't worry because you know once you the boulder actually spawns in you can just go around it and it will die but you will actually get around 2000 runes if you're on new game plus one and then you can just keep doing this over and over again 
until you actually rack up a decent amount of runes. This is actually my personal favorite method, but it just takes forever to actually get a decent amount of runes. Now the best way to get ruins, at least if you're in endgame, because if you're at like early to mid game, I recommend doing that boulder method. But if you're at endgame, I highly recommend just helping your friends, or if you're lonely like I am, just help random people with bosses. Because if you guys actually beat the boss, you get around 50% of the runes that you would have gotten if you fought the boss in your world. But the thing about this is that you can do this as many times as you want because, you know, there's probably going to be at least one person that needs help with that one boss. And bosses that people commonly get stuck on are Commander Nile, the Godskin Duo, the Fire Giant, Malekith the Black Blade, Elden Beast, and of course Melania. But, you know, I don't really recommend fighting this boss because sure you'll get a lot of ruins, but that's only if you kill it. And, you know, that's a big if. But anyways, just help other people fight bosses. Trust me. You'll rack up ruins super fast, and even if you do die, you won't lose ruins because you didn't die in your server. So it's really just a win-win scenario. Well, that is all the ways that you can grind for runes in Elden Ring. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.